I've been recycling my old boats to build my new project. But this time I decided to use two brand new sheets of corpulence to build a better pontoon boat. The plan for the pontoon is very simple, but still it took me an hour to transfer it onto the corpulence. And it took me only 45 minutes to finish all the major fold lines. But building this pontoon boat took me much longer time than building a kayak because I have to deal with two pontoons. It is very easy to fold it into the shape of a pontoon. The black lines are folded in one direction and the red lines are folded in the other direction as illustrated here. The height of this pontoon is 4 inches. I plan to build another set of pontoons at a height of 8 to 9 inches. The reason for me to go with 4 inches in this design is because I want to fit a pedal drive on it and the shaft of the pedal drive is rather short and I don't want to make the boat too wide. That's why I choose to make a 4 inches high pontoon. But with 8 inches in height, and it can carry more weight, and also there will be less chance for water splashing on the top side of the pontoon. And that means there will be less chance for any water from getting into the pontoon, even though I try to make it watertight. At 4 inches high, each pontoon weighs about 8.25 pounds, a little bit less than what I have expected. Then I build a platform. The weight of the first implementation is 6.5 pounds. So the final weight of the first version is 23 pounds, maybe plus another pound of lashings. My goal is to keep it under 30 pounds, therefore I still have some margin to play with in terms of weight. I hit fused the cross-structural members about a foot apart so that when I land my feet on top of the pontoon, it can support my body weight. Then I use lashings and clamps to hold the pontoon in shape and leave that in this form overnight so that it will retain the shape. There's a problem with this kind of cross-structural design because when I fused at the top, you see there's a wave free uh, surface and it becomes difficult to make it watertight at the top joint. It took me 25 minutes to build this longitudinal structure. I recycled the coral plus for my old boat. I will fuse this piece in the center of the boat and then I will fuse the top panel onto this longitudinal piece. Then I close the other side and fuse the other piece on top of it. The center structural piece is fused to the bottom of the pontoon. I finished, fused the top and closed the top. And you can see the result is much better. The top is so much smoother. I use a sheet of 10 mm thick coral plus for the platform. I'm cutting corner and I try to fold the platform in the same direction as the channel and it is easier to fold that way but it may not be strong enough. I'm hoping it will work. I use soldering iron to cut the slots for the lashings. The assembly is straightforward and easy. There are a total of six lashings holding both pontoons onto the platform. So this is the new one. We will try out tomorrow. In my next video, I will show you the water test result. If you find this video interesting, I appreciate you support me by giving me a like or subscribe to my channel so that this video will reach more people. Thanks for watching. See you again. Bye.